And the fingerprints of ISIS are all over that terror cell that was targeted last week in Belgium as well. The connection was confirmed by a senior counterterrorism official in Brussels. This morning, the search is on for the suspected ringleader of that cell. So let's get right to Brussels and bring in senior international correspondent Ivan Watson. Ivan. Good morning, Allison. That's right. It's a manhunt for one of Belgium's most notorious jihadis, a man named uh, Abdelhamid Abaoud. Now, according to a, a senior Belgian counterterrorism official, uh, this man is believed to be the mastermind of a, a suspected jihadi plot homegrown here in Belgium that was aiming to target not only police officers, but also had weapons and explosives and, and much more ambitious plans. Now, the Belgian authorities have succeeded in arresting at least five suspects here in Belgium. There were also two men who were killed in a shootout with police last week. Uh, two more suspects arrested in France, uh, as well as a suspect believed to be of uh, Algerian nationality who was arrested by police in Greece. But Abdelhamid Abaoud, uh, who was last tracked to Greece, is, is still missing right now. And part of why he's so famous here is he's believed to have taken his younger brother, who was only 13 years old at the time, to to Syria to join the ranks of ISIS. He's been described, this boy, Yunus, as uh, the youngest jihadi uh, in Syria. Abu Oud was also believed to have been filmed driving a pickup truck, dragging corpses, uh, more than a half dozen corpses, through a field in Syria. And again, uh, his name is reared after he was believed to have been killed and now linked to this jihadi cell two of whose members died in a gun battle with Belgian police last week.